Thank you very much, um, Mercy. We'll go straight to the fact that um, the Giants Flying Eagles have arrived at Abuja today after cashing out the quarterfinals of the FIFA Under-20 World Cup in Argentina. The players, including the coaching crew and officials, touched down at the Inlandi Aziko International Airport via Ethiopian Airlines. The team finished as runners-up in Group D, which has Brazil, Italy, and Dominica Republic. In the first knockout stage game against the host nation, that's Argentina, the Flying Eagles record a shocking 2-0 win. And this is the first time ever that the Flying Eagles will beat um, the South American team at the Under-20 World Cup. We all could remember in 2005 when um, we lost to the team led by Messi in the finals. Away from football, we go straight to volleyball. In Kaduna, over 205 young volleyball stars, male and females, across Nigeria are jostling for a slot to be picked for the national under-17 team in the three days open trials at the Amodibele Stadium, also in Kaduna. The development is coming following the very fact that um, African Volleyball Confederation's decision to give Nigeria an hosting right for the under-17 competition slated for September 2023, later this year. More in this report. This screening exercise includes overage, height, and the best players fit for the national game as 145 boys and 60 girls young volleyball players are in a three-day open trial camp. Speaking at the camp, the technical director of Nigeria Volleyball Federation, Martins Melandi, says the talent and level of skills displayed by some of the players are commendable. This one is to give every player opportunity so that we don't just sit down at home and start selecting our brothers and sisters to come to camp. So we have, we have done the screening this morning to screen out overage players and also those that uh, we feel their heights for now will not be beneficial for this competition. The under-17 coach, Sunday Akapsin, describes the boys and girls as dedicated, noting that the players are interested to play for the nation. The primary way so far is the fact that those players are interested to play. They want to play, right? Now, it's left for we, the coaches, to imbibe the right character in them. Because the primary thing that you need is for the players to have the interest to want to play. These players that are here have the interest. I think the bulk of the work right now is on our heads, the coaches. Because if you fail these kids, knowing what they have in their hearts, uh, I think uh, Nigeria will be disappointed with us. And of course, we are going to dampen into their, their future. Some of the players expressed delight in being in the open trial camp, saying height will not deter them from participating. I'm not 100% sure because... In volleyball, height advantage is also hard there. If I'm picked, it's going to be the glory. It's God, it's His grace that I'm picked. But I'm still hoping that with the game I'm going to play, I should prove them wrong that the height is not the only thing, but the game is, 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 the, thing, is the thing that is involved too. It's a privilege for me to be. I'm happy that I'm here. I will work harder and I will do my best. The under-17 volleyball trial will select 25 boys and 25 girls who will represent the nation and hopefully bring glory to the country. Yes, I wish them this young lads a wonderful tournament and hopefully they will be lucky enough to represent Nigeria. And that's all for Sport News tonight. I'm Muda Shiushitu. Thanks for watching. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.